Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to the Legend of the Dream Binder. Last episode we defeated the Shadow Shield and we restored a part of the Dream Binder. And now pirates are here in Skegness, uh, they're kind of busy in a pub so we're gonna go steal their shit. Because uh, we can't do anything on the side and we have to get out of here. Alright, so here we go with the pirate ship. Uh, VXAs had no uh, tile sets for uh, pirate ships so I had to use... Uh, I had to use uh, some from XP, which is the uh, Cedo Sudden Change in uh, the Sprite style. Ashley, you aren't seriously thinking about stealing a pirate ship, are you? Well, we have to get off this island somehow, right? I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. I don't know how to drive a ship. <laughs> Ashley, stealing a ship and then the realization I don't know how to drive one. Ashley. Yar! Who goes there? Uh oh. This is not gonna be good. Uh oh. Yeah, we've been caught trying to steal a pirate ship. Oh boy, this is not gonna go well. Are these stupid kids trying to steal our ship? Aye, they are! What should we do with them? Leave it to me. Captain Wallace! And there he is, the captain of this ship. Yo, step away from that wheel if you know what's good for ye. Uh, damn it. Ashley! Yeah, no choice. Lock him up in a brig. We'll look for some shark infested waters. Oh, well, shit! We're the only hope for this world, and we're gonna die. Aye, aye, sir. Well, damn! <laughs> you know, this is all your fault, Ashley. Shut up. Stop fighting, you two! We need to find a way to get out of this. How? Pirates are hard to make deals with. They're always looking for a reward. Hey Ashley, couldn't we give them your sword? No, absolutely not! First off, only the Dream Samurai can use the Dream Binder. The pirates won't even be able to touch it. The sword chooses who can wield it. Also, it's the only weapon that can stop the nightmares. We won't be able to stop them if we don't get out though. Claudius, you're a ghost. Can't you leave? You don't have a physical appearance after all. These bars aren't holding you back. Yes, I could leave. But I wouldn't be any help. Without a physical body, I wouldn't be able to hold any keys or anything. We gotta do something! Once they find shark infested waters, we're dead! Yep. Oh boy, how we get ourselves in this situation. Stealing a pirate ship! We thought that'd be a great idea! Jeez, what a crazy night! First old phantasm shows himself and now these kids try to steal me ship. I can't wait to dispose of those troublemakers. Captain! What's up? We got some big trouble, Captain. What's the problem, mate? You won't believe what's happening. There's trouble up on deck. What are you talking about? Go see for yourself, Captain. I like Captain Wallace, by the way. <laughs> He's one of my favorite characters. Oh! I can't believe me eyes! Oh boy, it's the ghost ship! The ghost ship. I never thought I'd see old Phantasm again. Captain, the ghost ship's attacking us! Oh boy! Yeah, we're being attacked! <laughs> you know, it's a good thing old Phantasm showed up. I think he may have just saved us. What's happening? I don't know! There's a lot of gunfire going on. And now we're in the Reef of Rust. Which, uh, this is not a place you want to be. These ships that get wrecked here, they stay here. Where are we? Whatever that was, it destroyed the ship and probably saved our lives. We gotta find a way out of here. Indeed we do, and we shall. Yeah, I wanna save. Alright, so the Reaper Rust, by the way, there are some pretty tough monsters here. There's no shops or anything, so... You really better make sure you stocked up on uh, stuff uh, when you're in a uh, Skagness before you come here. 
Or just don't save, but I kind of already did save, so I have to hope I have enough. Hey, Wallace! Look what your hooligans did! Do you land lovers realize where we are? This is the Reef of Rust. No sailor ever leaves here alive. Well, shouldn't we at least try, Mr. Pirate? Arr, you do realize this is your fault, don't you? If you're gonna talk to me, then at least know me name. I'm Captain Wallace Lee, and you are to call me Captain. Understood? I am Captain of the legendary pirate crew, the Silver Eyes. Or at least, I used to be, until you mischief makers led us to these forsaken place. Sounds to me like you're giving up, Captain. What else can I do, lass? My ship is gone, there's no land for miles, there's no survival here. On our own? Maybe you're right. But what if we work together? Eh? <laughs> good one, kid! I'm serious. We want the same thing right now, right? And why should I help you? This is all your fault to begin with! You need a new crew, don't you? What about us? Max, what are you talking about? Do you trust me? N no. <laughs> of course. Well, how about it, Captain? <laughs> you got a deal. Let's get out of here. I got the boomer. And Captain Wallace uses guns and swords. His special abilities depend on what he has equipped. So, do you want to have a sword equipped or do you want to have a gun equipped? Right now, he has a sword equipped. And while he's got a sword equipped, he can use a uh, weapon break. But if you give him a gun, which is a little bit weaker. But if you give him that... He can use stun gun, which can stun the enemy, so... I kind of like the idea to have weapon break a little bit more, so I'm going to keep the... the silver saber on. Plus, that gives him more attack power. Alright, well, we gotta go find a way out here. There's a lot of chests here, and oh boy! We're fighting Dawn Pods! <laughs> yeah, these things aren't too bad, except for when they use water attacks. Or ice breath. Yeah, ice breath ain't too bad, but they do have a water attack and that can do a lot of damage, so watch out for that. But nothing we can't handle! Victory is ours! What's this? A leather bandana! You already have one equipped, uh, you have a leather hat, if leather hat is, uh, far superior. You can have it then. There we go. Cool! So yeah, this is basically just a walk through this uh, wasteland, uh, follow the stone paths, and... Okay, these crabs, they suck. We have to get rid of them, okay? Because they use uh, those water attacks I told you about that are pretty lethal. Alright, one is dead. There's the water attack. Yeah, see? It does a lot of damage. So that's a big yikes. Alright, let's uh, get rid of that guy and we'll fight the Dawn Pod. Yeah, the crabs have a bigger probability of using the water attack than, uh... Well, than anything else does, so... If you see crabs, get rid of them. Hey, we did it! Victory is ours, once again, nice. Also, if you're going to want to complete this, the nightmare thing, um... Be sure to get all the enemies here because this is a one place visit and you can never return. Although it is a big area, you're, you're pretty much uh, guaranteed to encounter at least one of every enemy before, uh, before you find your way out of here. Level 7. Cool. We got a fork in the road. Let's go down here. I want that chest. Oh boy. Corgos and Surrey. Oh boy. I remember these things being a bit of a thing. Especially the thing in the back. Ah, I missed. Goddamn. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Yeah, the sea, the seahorse dudes, the corgos, they attack twice. Alright, let's do a mega punch. Sayonara! Whew. 
Cool, we did it. Level 7, let's get this chest. An embroidered vest. I want to put that on. You already have one on. Oops. I'll give it to you then. Because anything is better than a wool tunic. It is your our weakest uh, armor. Let's go down here. I'm going to follow this bridge. Oh boy! Uh, the things on the back, they can use all uh, water attacks too, so watch out for them. <coughs> Dragon's Glow! Oh yeah, they also use Vampire. They will steal your health, so... Fun! I didn't mean to escape, but... Oh well. Uh, let's check down here. I, I don't remember which way is the right way or the wrong way. I think this is the right way, so... Yeah, I think I'll go across the bridge first. Oh boy! Yeah, I'll run away from these guys. It's fine. Hello! 100 coins were found. Great! They don't do me much good right now. Alright, this time I'm not running away. Yeah, we use a weapon break. Ooh, good damage! Oh yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter that I broke its weapon, it died. Paralyzed Breath, no! Oh no! I forgot those guys can do that too. He's also a vampire. Weapon break. Goodbye. Now my friends have to get unparalyzed. Please. If you kill one of them, that would be great too. They wouldn't be paralyzed anymore. Sure, I had to revive them, but these are not stunned no more. Hey, Ashley is free. And now you're dead. Thanks for coming. Alright, potion. Heal up a bit, and we'll press on. Let's go down here. Another chest, oh boy. Now run away from these guys. We don't need it. Speed up! Cool, I'll give it to, uh, I'll give it to Wallace. And we'll go down. Oh boy. Sorry, crabs, I'm not in the mood for ya. I'm just gonna run away. Alright, we got three ways we could go. Let's start going down this way. I'm pretty sure there's only a chest down here. Yep. Yeah, one thing I like to do in my games, by the way, is, uh... Sometimes there are multiple pathways and sometimes there are dead ends, but I like to make, like, uh, every dead end, like, worth it. So, if there is a dead end, there's probably gonna be a chest down there. Just so that your exploring is rewarded if you happen to go the wrong way. Oh, jeez. I think I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. Okay. Potion! Good, I need those. Alright, I guess I'll fight. I've run away long enough. Uh, Mega Punch that Dawn Pod. Start with the Freezy Brand. And then there's the water attack. And yeah, there's the crab doing it. Yeah, water, you don't want to be hit by it. Like I said, it's... Uh, Oh, it's a painful thing. Alright, weapon break. Ooh, yay! Hit the crab, make a punch the crab, and you can use a potion to heal up Max. It's gone! And I got the feel what it's like to be stunned as a carriage. So that, I guess that's a peaceful death. Well, not exactly peaceful, like you were just stunned. You, you felt it. It's just you didn't see it coming and you couldn't do anything to stop it. Run away from the Dawn Pods. They do get kind of troublesome. 
I, I, fell, I fell for a trap. I do that sometimes too, where traps have uh, bad things inside where there's either a fire like that, or either negative status effects like uh, poison or stuff. So be careful when opening chests, sometimes they're bad. Hey, well it's leveled up, now we're all level 7. Nice. Got this spell herb. Oh boy. Run away from the Dawn Pods, I don't really like them. <laughs> Actually, there isn't anything in this godforsaken place I enjoy. All the monsters here kind of suck in their own way. What are you, a potion? Good. I need those. I'm just going to keep running away. Alright, third screen and final screen. Let's check off uh, down here first. I don't always know what's the proper way and improper way, and I, and I even made this game. <laughs> Although I made it a long time back. As you can see, when I made this game, I was still new to mapping, so the maps do look kinda, you know, bland. But, like I said, I am still proud of it. And the first time I actually used, uh, you know, a script where your battlers are animated, so that was, uh, pretty cool. But yeah, if you guys enjoy my uh, playthrough of my own game, I might uh, do playthroughs of our games I made. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. It's also kind of interesting uh, playing the playing these games, like uh, doing it on camera, because I'm noticing uh, like some things in the dialogue that I didn't notice when I was testing when I was testing it. So I do have to, some things I have to go back and uh, check. I still have those. I still have the source code, so I can still change that, st still change things up, you know. I might even go back and, uh, you know, polish up these maps a little bit, like especially this place, and make it feel, you know, give it a little bit more life, even though it is like a place of the dead, you know. Uh, that scout, that zombie dude we had to talk to, he is our ticket out of here. As you see, he's uh, made a raft. Oh! A recovery chest, thank you. I should have uh, fought that guy and then used it. Hey, dude. Finally, I'm free! Thanks for constructing this raft for us. We'll be taking that for you. I made this here raft for myself. I've been trapped here for 50 years. I don't know how to break this to you, but you're already dead. Can't we just leave together? No! I leave. You stay. If I'm dead, that means you must die too. It's never easy for us, is it? No, it isn't, Ashley. It never is. So we're fighting Jagger. Honestly, I feel bad for this guy. He's been stuck here for 50 years. He finally built a way out, and we're kind of still in a raft, and we're going to be killing him even though he's already dead. Alright, so this guy isn't too bad. He has some uh, high defense, but that's okay. Oh yeah, he also has has a sleepy breath, so watch out for that. And with a weapon break, we don't have to worry about uh, we don't have to worry about uh, him hitting too hard because we can just uh, keep throwing his attack. Oh yeah, his defense isn't too high. It's just that Max's attack is kind of low. Let's see if I can stun him again. Nope. I'm just gonna keep hitting you with specials until you perish. He's not really bad, but there's another boss after this guy, and he's kinda... Or she, sorry, is kinda worse. Yeah, Poison Cloud! How dare you try and poison me? That is not a nice idea. You don't, you don't do that. Well, he's defeated. And now we're saved. We're free. We got a raft. Can my soul finally rest? You're now free. Yay, we freed his soul. I'm going to stay before we take off. Let's go. It's not going to be an easy ride out. We are going to be interrupted. By that thing right there! It's not just going to let us leave. What is that? The sea goddess, Lin. 
She is just like the shell creature in the goblin forest. You mean she holds the power of the dream binder within? Then we must defeat her! Let's go, fellow beast! Hell yeah! I should uh, change the, the background, like the foreground, to make it look like we're actually fighting on a raft. Oh well. We're fighting Lin. And she can be a bit annoying. She will be using water attacks like that, so oh boy, be right with your potions. Ooh, if you can keep doing uh, powerful hits like that, that would be fantastic. Weapon break. Oh dear. Oh, Ashley's gonna die, and that's not something I want. Dragon Blow! Uh, we use the... Uh, I guess the elixir. And attack. Don't hit Ashley, thank god. Hi yeah! Alright. Dragon Blow! Mega Punch! Weapon Break! Oh dear. Wallace is gonna die. Good thing I'm doing uh, that weapon break, so... Break its weapon before he perishes. Although I am damn sure going to try and save him. Although I'm going to save him with himself, so that I, I won't waste an item if he perishes. Oh boy. There we go, I'm saved. Dragon Blow! I like how you hear the roar of a dragon as you come down. <laughs> I had a lot of fun uh, with the spell system, like especially making the animations. Although doing uh, anime powers is a lot easier in MB, so I I'm kind of sticking with that for future games I make. We did it! Lin is defeated. We got a new power added to the Dream Binder. Level nine, level nine, level nine. Sweet. Last, your swords are shining! I know, this happened before. Yay! The Dream Binder has absorbed Lin and regained some of its power. Ashley has learned Dragon's Heart. This is actually a good ability, by the way. The Dream Binder has learned one of its hidden skills. Dragon Heart. It will heal your wounds using the love of a dragon. Yay! We got a new recovery skill! Wish we could really use a recovery skill. And we're finally free from that godforsaken place. Ha! Good old land and the uh, rock is gone. <laughs> uh, before we go any farther, why don't you let me know what's going on here. Alright, to simplify things, monsters from the realm of nightmares are invading the land. We gotta recover the dream binder to its full power. We also gotta find out Dragorif's weakness so we can get rid of him. Defeat him and the nightmares will be over. Well, count me in! You kids dragged me into this, after all. There should be a town this I'm in. How about we head over there and decide what's next from there? Before we go there, we want to go to this cave, though. Actually, you know what? We will listen to Wallace and we'll uh, head over to the town first before that. Just to show you guys what I mean. Oh, hello, foul pest. You're kind of a pest. Can you please go away? No, I guess not. Oh, well, they run away sometimes. <laughs> They're normally team creatures and they will run away. So, best to defeat them before they get a chance to. Alright, welcome to Bradford. And up here is a little, uh, savey hut. It should be a good idea to use. Welcome to Bradford. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. And there's a weapon and armor shop here. But where we want to go is here to the church. And there's a bunch of people, as you can see, and, they, and they're worshipping their town sewer. Which is Angie here. Oh, are you new to town? Welcome to Bradford. Uh, thank you. Yeah, um, she will join us later. And that's kind of reason why we want to go to uh, the cave first, to have a reason to have her to join us. Because we were to be like, a, hey, welcome here to Bradford. You know what? I'm going to join you in your battle for, for good now. So I'll be back here later. So let's go on into the cave. 
Welcome to the Wasting Cavern. We can't really go that far because of this here. It lights and the lights talk to us. Only those welcomed by the Holy Spirit can cross to the dreaded wastelands. Well, that means we can't go. So we have to go back and we have to go talk to Angie. First off, I want to rest in the inn. It's been a while and I am kind of in need of uh, recoveries. 215 coins? No problem. I got a lot of coins. I am rich. Alright, HP and MP fully recovered. Good! Well, let's go get our hero. I'll visit the weapon and armor shop uh, in a little bit. Hi, Angie, I'm back. Oh, are you new to town? Welcome to Bradford. Actually, we need your help. Oh, you do? With what? We have to cross the cave to the wasteland, but there's a stone wall and won't let us through. If you don't mind me asking, why do you need to cross over to the wasteland? I'm the Dream Samurai Ashley. Me and my friend Max are sent on a mission to save the world from the nightmares. But in order to do that, we need to restore the Dream Binder to its former glory. Only then will we stand a chance against Dragoreth. We believe a piece of the Dream Binder is in the wasteland. Miss Angie, do you remember me? Quadius, what happened to you? I fought Dragoreth and I lost. Ashley has been chosen by the Dream Binder to take my place. Well, if it's alright with Quadius, I will join you guys. Anything for an old friend. Yay! We now have a healer on our side. And as any hero, she can heal us and power us up. Pretty cool. But yeah, we also have a dragon's heart, which is basically a heal all. Which Ashley doesn't know a heal all right now, so it does have some use. Anyways, I want to go here to the weapon and armor shop. What can we buy? We can buy a new weapon for, uh, Wallace. Oh yeah, I'll take that. A Twisted Ripper, a new weapon for Max. And we can also get the Shadow Fury if we want a new, uh... You know what? Sure, I'll buy it. And we got a Spirit Binder, which nobody can use right now, or Dagger. And a Skull Cleaver. And a Blood Quench. Kind of weird that Angie, a hero, is using a weapon that is quenched in blood, but okay. <laughs> Alright, let's equip our new weapons. You know, I'm going to use the Shell Fury for a bit, alright? And now we're going to sell some of our unwanted stuff. So the Drill Bit can go, the Silver Saber can go, the Boomer can definitely go. I'm going to keep the Swift Wave for, for now though. And then these can go, we don't need them. Thank you! You need good armor, you came to the right place. I got some good armor. So, oh, damn! An adventurer's vest. I was gonna buy only one of those. Actually, I buy... Fur hats are also pretty good. I'll buy one of those. And I guess we'll leave it at that. I will give you the adventurer's vest. And... You don't want to keep with the leather hat. So, I'll give you the fur hat. And we can sell. And I might be able to have enough to buy something else. Nothing I really want. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go save and I'm actually going to wrap up this episode here, alright? So, thank you everybody for joining me and coming back to The Legend of the Dream Binder. Hope you guys are enjoying this. And I'll see you guys next time as we return to the Wasted Cavern. Because now that we have a hero with us who has been welcomed by the Holy Spirit, We'll be allowed to pass through to the wasteland. See you guys then. Until then, thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.